you will see so many people with the colors. Uh, we have uh, tribes like Etchin and Gaya and Gigi. And my friend is from Gaya. Gigi. And Xin, Xin is from Xin, Xin is near China, uh, very close to. Huh? Huh? India? Okay, India. And then Bama. Bama is the majority, majority tribe. And uh, Moon Rakan Shan. Such small clans or ethnic group, we have about 100. You know, Buddhism. You know, we have this, you know, the Buddhism is a very conservative Buddhism. Uh, it's about 90% uh, of the population. That is a majority. Uh, one of, I mean, the largest pagoda is in, now in Bangalore. And if you have time, please visit the pagoda. You call, I mean, we call Sri Gong Pagoda. It's a golden pagoda. So one of the largest pagoda as you may visit this one. And then this one, that one, you know what? It's a very strange. You can you can you use some very small rope and somebody hold the end and somebody hold the end and you just go like this and you will go through uh, the rope and, and the stone and the below the stone they seem this uh, okay they are not touching each other so you can you can really blow the rope like this this is very good to visit this pagoda as well. Major religions continue Christianity 5.5. We have Anglican, we have Methodist and Baptist, Presbyterian and other many denominations. And Islam, we have 3.8 Islam. And um, Hinduism 0.5. And this animism. Okay, this we will uh, try to understand. Uh, first, you respect monks and nuns and the enemy. Anyone who is older than you, you think older than you, you will try to show the respect. Use your right hand or both hands to give and receive things. For example, uh, this, this is small, right? You can give like this. I mean, it's too light, but it's not meant to help your mind. You will use your right hand and to pass it to something. Sometimes you help like this. That's how you spread um, people. Uh, sometimes you will like this. Or like this. Right? So use your right hand or both hands to give and receive things. Take off your shoes or slippers or sandals at the door, or they will have the designated place for you to put your shoes when you enter houses and apartments. It's very important. And keep yourself quiet while someone older than you is talking. And you may even fold your arms across your chest like this. Right. I mean, to you, it's not really uh, respectful, right? But in Yama, if you do like this, that means you respect somebody talking to you. So you, you keep yourself quiet and attentive. And sometimes you may fold your arms across your chest. Bow your head while walking across in front of the older ones. The older ones are talking. 
especially here they are talking and you want to pass across, then you, you, you do like this. So first, the order among you were sitting for meals. So you'll be sitting together at a round table or square. Then you observe uh, if somebody is older than you, you just serve him. I mean, a palm, anything. Uh, serve him first. And then you have your own meals. And I observe silence while eating. And Myanmar is very important that you do not have fellowship. <laughs> fellowship over lunch and dinner. You do not talk too much. Uh, you try to uh, observe silence. And ask permission before taking photos with people. If you are going to take photos with people, don't ask them first. Or if you want to take somebody sitting or meditating, you want to take photos and then you ask first. Can I take a photo? Because uh, Burmese people are quite sensitive. Sometimes they don't want you know, they don't want you to take uh, them a photo, so you ask them. Uh, you just ask them, can I take a photo? Can I take a photo? And you just show the photo, and uh, they will be very pleased to respond to you. When you go to somebody's house or you visit somebody, wait for the signal. Okay, the signal they will give you to to be seated, either on the floor or on the chair. Because some somewhere are chairs, or one or two, but usually that will be for the elder ones, right? So you go there and you wait for them to give you a seat. And they will say, here, yeah. then you sit. Sometimes they will just allow you to sit on the floor, and many people will sit to, uh, with you, right? So you don't mind sitting on the floor, yeah? just ready to sit on the floor, either on the chairs, wait for the seat. And when you visit the house, it's very important, especially the Buddhist, Buddhist people, you take a seat facing to the altar. Every house will have an altar with a flower, with the water, and all this thing. And uh, your, your seat, the way you sit, you must always face the altar. Like this. For example, this is the altar, you are facing. Like that. That's how you will sit. And of course, smile. Wear well, well decent clothes when visiting religious sites. Uh, especially religious site pagodas and all other things. You want to go there and please wear well, decent clothes. Tuck away your feet, especially if you are sitting on the floor. You need to tuck your feet. You know how to do it? Like the way Buddhist Buddha sit, you sit like it's so good, strong enough. You sit like this. This is on the floor, and uh, you you may sit like this. Right? Like this. Okay. You don't you don't point like that or like that. They don't like. Sometimes like this, when you, you are preaching, or you don't see like this, facing people like that. They, they don't. You will see like this. You try to hide your feet as much as possible. Learn the local customs before visiting any minority villages. Minority villages. Villages, if you want to visit, learn. Learn a little bit about them. What sports do they play? What do they like? What do they like to talk about? All those things. Learn a little bit of their customs. And visitors should be understanding when they are experiencing electricity uh, outages. You know I mean, sometimes, uh, especially in the, the place that you are going, uh, there might be you know, electricity problem, current problem. And, uh, you are expected to be, you know, understand. It's not like Hong Kong, 24 hours in the city. So sometimes you will work in the dark. 
So bring the torch light. <laughs> you know, my people are delighted when the tourists, or the foreigners, are you, participate in the sports and the festivals. They are festival people. They like. You know, so if they have something gathering and they invite you, please go, enjoy. They will be so happy. And then they, they play something, you join them. They're so happy. Oh, this one is actually I mentioned already. Don't point your feet at somebody. Since the feet are the lowest parts of the body. Do not touch anyone on the head. And it's quite important. Sometimes we tend to you know, drop children in pads and people don't like it. Because they think, you know, the power of the glory is here. You know? So you don't you don't really touch them. And well, don't kiss the public place. But I'm sure you will you will encounter people, you will see people, young youngsters kissing in the public. Uh, if you visit the young girl, uh, maybe even even minority. But for you, especially as a foreigner, uh, 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 try uh, not to kiss in public, public place. Don't disturb people praying or meditating. You go to religious sites, people were there to sitting, and maybe they are praying, maybe they are reading, maybe they are reading, maybe they are reading. So you do not shout. Especially I, I, I have experienced American tourists, they like to shout. No? They call each other, oh, they're shouting. And um, in Burma, in Myanmar, you don't know. Calling with it. Your finger up means calling for challenge. You do not have somebody like this. Okay. Right. Don't touch the rope of the monk. The monk, they will wear the rope like that. And they will walk in beside you. You don't touch. Don't sit beside mats, especially for ladies. Yeah. Even in the bars or in somewhere, anywhere. Try as far as, I mean, keep yourself far from the mats. Give money or sweets to the children is not advisable. Even though you may give to grace, mm -hmm. yeah, that's okay. But children which are not the part of the community. Why do you give the sweets to the children? It's not advisable. Why? Well, especially, you know, you give somebody money, children. You know, it can be interpreted in so many ways. You know, I mean, child abuse or deception. I mean, many things. And you give a sweet. It can be harmful, dangerous, poisonous. We do not know. So, it's, as a foreigner, you don't give. You don't give money and you don't give sweets to children. But of course you can do with the, the grace heaven. Or heaven. Mm -hmm. of name, the kids. It's okay. No legal, no illegal drugs. No purchasing this important. No purchasing of wife life products. Please do not buy. If you buy, that means you encourage, you know, to kill more, <laughs> to destroy this uh, animal. So you don't, you don't buy this product. And you don't go where you advise not to go. Yeah, that's very obvious. <laughs> okay, name in Myanmar. In Myanmar, we have no family name. Okay, no family name. Names do not change after marriage. Uh, I hope also in heaven. <laughs> Names do not change. Names are chosen according to their date of birth. So there is a way of calculating, uh, I mean, choosing uh, our names. And each name has particular meaning. So it's good to ask, what does your name mean? You know? That's uh, one way of, you know, Making friends. If the 
they tell you the name, just ask them, what's the name? And they will be very happy to tell you. Yeah, I think we can practice this tonight, little bit. Yeah, before we go to the language part, any cultural things that you would like to ask Thomas? Or, yeah, or anything that you would like to know more? Yeah. Yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah, maybe I, I, I think we just should add that one. Um, for like Tony, I mean, let's.